Alright guys, so Gate.io just went through like some sort of maintenance or something. And as you can see on the trade history, it's nothing but buys. Look at this. Look at this guys. All buys. And this is real time updates. And as you can see there's a couple sales up here. And But look at these buys. And you can see, uh, yeah, you can see the price that they're buying in. This is the amount of doge that they're buying. And I think my screen here cuts off the the amount of dollars that it's worth. But as we can see, there's just a, there's some big buys going in right now. So uh, I don't know exactly what sparked this. I'm about to go look on the. Okay, so here comes the sales. But as we can see, we're getting halfway up. It, here comes the buys. So as we're watching real time. Uh, I'm going to look on my phone and see what the Robinhood app is saying it's trading at. Okay, so on Robinhood, right now as I'm looking at it, it says .005984. But as we can see, these people, these are buys. These transactions have went through. These are sales. So we're seeing that these buys are going through. We are shooting up pretty fast. So something, and we're not meeting much resistance right now at all. So let's go back up here to the chart and kind of look at it. Look at this. Wow. Okay, so my my computer's lagging. Hold on, bear with me, guys. I just kind of want to watch this for a minute. To be honest with you, just the amount of buys. Uh these aren't really big amounts right now uh, as far as like dollar wise and these sales right here are they're nothing 400 bucks is the biggest one so these are little bitty sales compared to the buys that have been going in so there's something going on i don't know if some type of new news came out but um i can't pause this for whatever reason it does not let me pause and i kind of just go and improvise on my videos i don't i don't really script it uh, I'm not a prof look at look at this we we're about to break six one. It's insane, just that fast. You you guys just seen how fast? Okay, so now we're meeting some resistance, maybe. Hmm. Just gonna watch this, guys. Let's see if let's see how if we break the six one. Um, unfortunately, actually on Robinhood. Whenever we were hanging around the five seven eight uh, range, I did have a sell put in for five thousand Doge at uh, point six, point zero zero six, and it went through. I, I forgot to cancel it. I should have canceled it because now I see that we're probably going to go higher. But um, we we are seeing the sales start to come in, and as you see, the the price is going back down. So, but this has been going on over the last hour now uh, I tried to record a video about an hour ago and I had to scrap it due to the quality uh, I had to find a different mic so I, I got a different mic so hopefully this one will be a, a little bit better but um, originally whenever I was watching it it was still around the it was it hadn't quite broken the point zero zero six range it was still around in the point zero zero five nine range and I was just watching the activity, and it was showing very similar signs of what it's going on right now. And then around the point zero zero six range, all this green turned into red. And so now, whatever is spiking this, you know, that's definitely something that I'm going to try and look into. I'd definitely like to figure out why this sudden spike. Um, so I want to go over here to the number one wallet. The last time that I refreshed this page, he was at 51 million. Uh, the time before that, it was at 49 million, and th that was in a five-minute period. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. I think it's been about 10 minutes since I refreshed it. Okay, so in the last 10 minutes, now he's up to 52 million. That's probably yeah, his in his amount of Doge has not increased. So that's just the the value of what he has so the last doge that he actually purchased was today and he purchased you know a pretty decent amount 38 million you know but in relative to his uh, size though you know it's not really that much that he purchased 
So let's go back over here. So we're still just see hanging around the same area here. So anyways, this the main point of this video is for me to promote to y'all the gate IO because I actually just deposited just a few doge into it uh, and just to kind of mess around with it. And I I've, I've talked about it before in my video, but I hadn't actually tried using it as far as buying and selling. And I definitely I didn't even really notice this real time updates going on over here because this is extremely useful. Uh, I know if you're trading on the Robinhood platform, you're very limited to really like the information that you can see. And this kind of just opens it all up. You can see exactly the price ranges that it's going for. I mean, now we nobody can predict the future, so you can't predict the next uh, buy or sell that's about to go through. But you can see like the overall direction a lot better than you can on Robinhood, where it's really kind of blind. So that's that's just mainly why I made this video. I I don't really have anything new to show you guys. Uh, I I have been doing some research, and you know I'm just coming up with the same information right now. You know until oh so look as we see we broke the six one range. So oh wow so and we're automatic automatically had some sales but we were automatically going towards 62 so you know who knows we might we might have a pretty decent little spike on our hands if we don't meet too much resistance which we are having resistance but we're seeing these big buys this is you know another six thousand dollar buy and you know all these add up and so you know seeing these and these are all just like hundred dollar sales right here you know but seeing these big buys you know that aren't in the millions you know that that's one of us you know that's somebody that um is could be in our community you know it's people that are just trying to get what they can you know the six thousand dollar range you know you never know but long story short though uh, oh 6160 look at that so yeah we're we're gonna break six two and at this rate you know i don't even want to say but i i I, de I think we definitely seen the last days of anything below maybe even the 5.5 five range. Uh, we, we could possibly dip back down once whatever is going on right now wears off. Uh, or we could not go below 6. You know, they might maintain the 6 range now that they have built up that power. So, you know, that would be good. Uh, if that is the case, I'm very sad that I didn't buy more Doge. Uh, mainly because I didn't have, you know, the means well I, I did but I didn't want to stress myself but long story short I definitely wish I would have bought more doge if this becomes our new low because at this point I, I'm gonna be really skeptical um, about buying in too much more because of the volatility you know and it could definitely go back down uh, but I, I do believe that we are going to continue to make new highs for uh, for right now until we get closer to around the around the 30th uh, possibly even to the 30th whenever the SEC you know makes their decision and they're most likely just going to put it off uh until next year you know the beginning of next year you know there's no way to know for sure but most likely that's what's going to happen and so people a lot of people will probably get you know nervous and they'll probably sell off at that point so you know, maybe after that point will be a really good time to buy in, or maybe things go through and the SEC announces something good, and you know it continues to take off. So you know that's just left to speculation. There's no way to know for sure. Um, pretty much all we can do now is, you know, if you want to buy and sell, you know, I was saying that that wasn't a good idea on Robinhood, but on this particular. Uh, website, I do believe that it offers the resources that you need to be able to buy and sell. Like if you wanted a day trade, for example, the the Doge coins or really even any other cryptocurrency. You know, this isn't limited to Doge coin on this website. That's what's really great about it. Now, one thing on this website that I will go ahead and explain. So if you see beside every coin here, there's USDT. So if you're not familiar with what USDT is, that's Tether. And that's a different cryptocurrency. And it 
seems to be a really stable crypto that hangs around the dollar range. So what you do in this is you exchange any crypto in here for USDT. Okay, so okay, say for example you have Coinbase and you have Ethereum, Bitcoin, whatever in your Coinbase account or any other wallet. You can transfer that currency into here and exchange it for USDT Tether and from that point you can purchase any other type of cryptocurrency so you know that's a really cool thing and it has really low fees from what I've seen I, I haven't done anything uh, big on here I literally just added like a small amount of doge coins just to kinda of test it out and you know I'm definitely impressed with this site and normally it doesn't lag I think it's because I'm recording that I'm lagging so bad but I'm, I'm, I am lagging pretty bad. You guys probably won't if you have a better computer than me. Uh, like I said, I'm running a Windows Vista laptop, and it's just not the greatest. And so, as you see, we are about to break the 0062 mark. So, I definitely wish that my uh, limit sale hadn't went through at 6, because I just lost 5,000 Doge coins, And I'm not going to get a chance to buy those back in at that price. Uh, by the looks of it anytime soon I do believe that what we're experiencing right now could continue to uh, build over the night so I do want to go ahead and look at the market cap for dogecoin so I am going to go over here and coin market cap it's really not the best for uh, determining the market cap because I've noticed that a lot of the times it's see as you can see it's behind so I'm gonna refresh that because surely it's not that far behind okay so as we can see it's it's somewhat close and we did break the 700 million market cap and you know I think we might be able to even see hopefully it would be cool if we seen like 730 million today you know that's that would be really nice for dogecoin and if we could continue to maintain this and not let the market cap drop too much you know and there's just not much that we can really do at, about it individually or um, you know because the people that are have the most amount of money in this as you've seen there's people that have you know many millions and this also incru uh, includes uh, the wallets that are inactive and in the inactive wallets there's a, a massive amount of doge coins that you know are possibly inaccessible to the original owners possibly permanently and so you know I apologize about the the lagginess guys so just the amount uh, I know there was one wallet that I seen it had over five billion doge and it's the number one you guys can look it up it had over five billion doge coins and I think it was valued at like 28 million and it's completely inactive so, alright so I'm probably gonna go ahead, go ahead and have to end this video because apparently uh, the recording is just too much for this computer and it's not able to load so you know I'm not gonna let you guys just sit here and look at a blank screen so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video but you guys should definitely check out gate.io and um, go ahead and check out our Discord group. We are developing a website uh, within the next few days to a week. And so we should have that up and going. And we have some pretty exciting things planned for the future. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video before you watch my computer crash.